What's going on everybody? This is Ultimate Device Vids, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 20 brand new jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 10 all the way through to iOS 10.2. I'm excited to show you guys these tweaks, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have Arial. This one's available for $1.99, and this tweak allows you to customize the color of the icons on your status bar when you're inside applications. So as you see here, I just jumped into settings, and you can see there, the status bar icons are colorized. You know, things that normally aren't colorized are. So the Wi-Fi indicator is blue. You can see the battery indicator has a red filling. Uh, the rotation lock is green, Bluetooth is blue, you know, the do not disturb is purple. And of course, you can configure all this to your liking. Just jump into the settings, scroll down to uh, Arial, and in here, you can enable or disable the tweak. And then you have all of the different indicators. Basically, every single icon that ever could appear in the status bar is in this list. And if you tap on any of them, you're going to be getting the same color configuration. But again, you can mix and match the colors to make any look that you want. And it looks absolutely great. As you can see right here, again, there's tons of options. And it looks best when you're inside a dark application just because the colors pop more. As you can see right there, you can just see it. It's more visible, but either way, it looks great inside of every application. Once again, it's called Arial. Next, we have Translucent Messages. This one's available for free. And basically, this tweak is going to take your wallpaper and blur it throughout the Messages application, as you can see right here. So it takes effect in the entire application. It looks really great, actually. I think it provides a very nice look. Works in the list view and also in the conversation view, as you can see right here. And also, of course, with the keyboard up as well. You know, it's a very simple effect, but it definitely provides a nice visual refresh to the Messages application. Next, we have AppCon. This one's $1.99. And this tweak allows you to actually set any image from your camera roll as the icon of a specific application on your device. Very cool idea here. So uh, I just have the picture of some iPhones here. And all you have to do if you want to change the picture, let's just say the settings application, is just go into wiggle mode, tap and hold on any application. And then you're just going to go ahead and tap on the icon when you're in wiggle mode. And then you get this menu. So basically, you have the ability to restore the original icon if you already set it. Or you could uh, basically replace from the photo library or from a URL. So if you guys have a certain image on the web that you know, you can put that in as well. But we're just going to use the photo library. And we're just going to go ahead and select our photo here. And you could, you know, basically get it to the way you want. You could zoom, you know, just move it around to make sure that it looks exactly the way you want. And just go ahead and hit save. Uh, you could also rotate as well. But we're just going to go ahead and hit save. And just like that, as you can see, it takes an effect immediately. This is something that I've actually wanted for quite some time now. I'm surprised that it hasn't, you know, already been made a reality. But so simple, you know, great implementation with this tweak, as you can see right there. So now, again, if you want to restore it, just go back in here, tap, restore original, just like that, back to normal. And if you guys actually go into wiggle mode, there's this button you're going to notice up here. And this actually applies to the entire page that you're on. Uh, there's actually an option that allows you to basically have an image split across all of the icons. So if you want it to kind of look like it's all one, I'll show you guys what I mean here. We'll just uh, show you guys here if we tap this. This will basically split this across all of the home screen icons. So I'll click save here. I'll show you what I mean. And you can see right there, it's basically like, I don't know, kind of like a puzzle there. So that's pretty, you know, that, I think that's a pretty cool effect. Obviously, I don't think it looks the best, but with some images, it might be able to. Let's just go ahead and restore the original just like that. But um, if you guys jump into settings, there's various options to configure if you guys head over to the tweak. But that's the basic idea that I just showed you. Once again, it's called AppCon. Camera Tools allows you to apply a minimalistic UI to your camera application. It also allows you to apply multiple tweaks and changes to the app. So uh, here's the more simplistic UI that this tweak provides. I actually like it much better. It, you know, that little black bar at the bottom is no longer there, so you get a more full look there. All the controls are on the side. You could just slide between them like this. And again, you know, it's transparent, so I just think it looks much better. And of course, you have, again, everything there working the exact same. But um, if you guys go into settings, you can configure this after you install it. We'll just jump over to uh, camera tools. And there's also some tweaks you can apply here, but the simplistic UI is pretty much the biggest thing for me. You can also hide different camera modes, and there's some mis miscellaneous options as well. And of course, you want to respring after you make any changes. Um, again, I'm just a big fan of the simplistic UI personally, but really nice tweak for your camera application. Next, we have Unify. This one's available for for $1.99, and this tweak groups your notifications on your lock screen and inside notification center basically on an app by app basis. So as you see here, I have three notifications for my messages application. You know, basically it's from the same contact. They said, hello, what's up, where are you at? But as you see right there, it actually bubbles them into the one notification for that specific application, messages. And you can see there, in between the messages, I have a little dot to indicate that there is a new message starting. I have another notification from FaceTime, which again is its own bubble. So it's not gonna, this tweak is gonna help basically 
prevent your lock screen or your notification center being cluttered up by so many different different notifications from the same application and some of you guys might be wondering what if i get multiple notifications from messages you know from different contacts well this is what happens as you can see right there basically the first contact is just in this first line and then I, we, we have another contact and you can see right there it's in a second line but it's all contained within that same bubble we could actually swipe on you know each portion of the bubble to get to notifications for that from you know from that specific contact in this case with the messages application so very awesome tweak i really like the implementation of this and once again it works in notification center as well as you can see right here we have that same effect just like that and of course you could you could just go ahead and tap on the specific notification you want to get to and you'll get there as you see here just like that and it also works for banners you can see right there if we get one notification and then we get another basically you can see there it'll start grouping them just like that for the banner notifications as well so that's definitely a nice touch so and also there's some settings they configure if you guys jump into settings head over to unify you could really configure the tweak to your liking there's various options so definitely go in here and tinker with it once again this tweak is called unify $1.99 Color Me Badge colorizes the badges on your home screen, the notification badges, to the same color as the app that the badge is on. So you see there, uh, for App Store, it's blue. For Messages, it's green. Definitely provides a nice effect. Now, there's other tweaks that do this, but this is just a new option. And if you guys jump into settings and head over to the uh, tweak in here, there's tons of options to configure in here. So you can really, you know, get this tweak working the exact way you want, you know, multiple toggles and things like that. So definitely go in there and configure it to your liking. Next, we have Recent Calls Plus. This one's available for $1.49, and this tweak basically adds a lot of useful features to the call log inside the phone application. So under Recents, you're going to be finding lots of useful features. So uh, in here, you'll notice that we actually have an icon for the type of call that it is. So for example, if it's a FaceTime call, FaceTime audio call, if it's, you know, Skype or something like that, it'll go ahead and show right there. And of course, with iOS 10, Apple integrated, you know, third-party applications like Skype in here, and this will take an effect for that as well. You get that same icon for the respective service. There's also uh, basically the option to show the flag for the location that the call is coming from. So here's one from Brazil and you can see right there it has the Brazilian flag. That's a very nice effect. And there's also color coding as well. So you can have it so it color codes based on the icon that shows. So you can see right there it's green because it's you know the FaceTime audio icon right there. And of course uh, there's also a search option. So you could go ahead and search your call log to find things you know really easily. I really like this. So I could just go ahead and type in you know a certain thing. And you can see right there it feels filters the uh, list just like that and there's tons of features this tweak comes with definitely go into the description of the tweak in Cydia to find that you know it'll show actually more than the normal 100 here if you have a bunch of them and of course if you guys jump into settings on your device and head over to uh, recent calls plus and here you have tons of options to configure you could also set emojis for different labels as well and there's also the colorization option and you will have to enable that manually just scroll down here to colorize call log make sure it's not on don't and make sure it's on you, you know you could either use the icon colors or you could actually use custom colors as well now if you do choose to use custom you could go out here to the um, labels and actually configure these colors for different things to your liking really awesome tweak it really you know beefs up the features in your call log no close will actually ask you for a confirmation when you're about to close the now playing application so if you guys are playing music or audio through an application and you know you actually end up killing that application as you can see right there it's going to give you this pop-up are you sure you want to close that application you could click no keep or yes close and it'll close it so if you're frustrated by accidentally killing that when you're listening to music or something you could go ahead and fix it with this Low power modder basically allows you to set a certain percentage that your device will automatically enter low power mode at. So if you guys jump into settings on your device, you can head over to the preferences panel for the tweak, and of course you can enable or disable it. Basically just put in your custom percentage here, and basically whenever your device hits that percentage, low power mode will auto automatically be enabled. And you can also have it so it disables when your device is being charged. And also, you know that custom percentage, basically when your device is charging and it's in low power mode, that low power mode automatically turns off. By, you know, by default, that's actually 80% with iOS, and this week actually allows you to change that as well. So you can go ahead and just type in your custom amount here to change that to whatever you want. So that's also just definitely a nice, useful feature that this tweak provides as well. But once again, it's called Low Power Modder. Message filter allows you to blacklist and whitelist certain words for certain conversations in your messages application. So go ahead and open up any conversation that you want to do this for on your messages application, then select the I button. And in here, you're going to be finding some new options. You have blacklisted words and whitelisted words. So if we go into blacklisted words, basically this is just going to blacklist that word, basically so it's going to warn you whenever you, you're you about to send that word to this particular conversation. So I'm just going to go ahead and add new word, and we'll just put in bad word. Or just we'll put in bad, how about that? And now that's there. So um, now when we go back out here, and we try to go ahead and send any message with that word in it, 
As you see there, just like that, we're going to be getting this pop-up. It's going to say bad is a blacklisted word for test testing, which is this <laughs> Godzack. You could send it anyway, or you could click cancel, just like that. Now, let's talk about whitelisted as well. So if we go into whitelisted, so basically it'll warn you if you t try to send this word to any conversation except the one that you're currently in. So uh, basically, again, if I, were try to t if I were to send a word that I put in here to another conversation, it would warn me. But if I sent that in this one, it would not warn me. So let me go ahead and add a new word here. We'll just put in test for this one. Click OK. All right, so now that we have that in there, we're just going to go back out here. And let's just go to a different conversation. Let's go to this one over here. And if I were to you know, try to send test over here, it's going to go ahead and warn me. As you can see right there, it's whitelisted for that specific conversation before. So I could go ahead and hit cancel or send anyway. But if I were to do it in the conversation that I set it for, it's not going to do anything because, again, it's whitelisted, as you see there, just like that. So uh, this is a great tweak, you know, especially if you don't want to accidentally send something bad to an important person in your contacts. Clear notifications, one tap, please, will basically make it so you only have to tap the X button in Notification Center to clear, to clear notifications once, not twice. Normally, you have to click it and then click it clear again. But now we can just go ahead and tap it once, and it clears the notifications. Uh, very simple tweak. Photo Tools allows you to customize the Photos application. It'll allow you to hide various things, add functionality, and just kind of improve the experience overall to your liking. So if we jump into Settings, we can head over to Photo Tools in here, and there's various options in here. You can hide various things. You can actually rename album folders, which is not normally an option. Um, various things in here. Again, you could scroll through and find the options that you like. Um, I actually like the skip delete confirmation, so if you don't want to have to you know, click twice to delete a photo, obviously be careful you don't accidentally do it, but that's a nice option. We'll enable something else as well. Oh yeah, another one of my favorites is the increase maximum zoom. So normally you can only zoom in a certain amount, but you could basically bypass that with this toggle. Then we're just going to go ahead and respring to apply the changes. So if we go ahead and jump into the photos app here, um, we'll just go into this photo. And first I'll just show you the zoom. So we could zoom in, as you can see here. And it will just continue to allow, uh, you know, to allow us to zoom in, even if it's so pixelated, as you can see right there. But again, it's definitely a nice option to have because sometimes you want to go really in depth on something. Um, also, if we click on delete, you can see right there, it's not going to ask us for confirmation. It'll just delete it automatically. And again, there's so many other options. I just touched on a few of my favorites. So you could really do so much with this tweak to customize the photos application. Pass button style allows you to customize the passcode screen on your device. So let me go ahead and show you guys here. Um, you can see we have a cleaner look enabled. This one just kind of cleans up and makes it much more easy on the eyes. And uh, you notice there, there's kind of the rings are much less visible. When we tap on things, it just kind of looks cleaner overall. And there's various other themes as well that you could enable. If you go into settings, you can head over to pass button style. And in here, you have all of the themes right here. You could just select the one you want, then select respring. Access within apps allows you to disable notification center and control center in certain applications of your choice. So if you guys jump into settings, you can head over to access within apps. And basically, you have two sections for the control center and the notification center. Just tap into the one you want. I'm just going to go into control center and just check any app on your device that you want to disable the notification center or notification center in. So let's just choose the app store for control center. And now we're in the app store, you'll notice that when we try to pull up the control center, you can see it does not actually work. Of course, notification center still works. And again, it also works in any other app, as you can see right here. It's just going to be in that application. So um, this is useful, you know, if you're basically playing maybe a game or something like that. And you're, you know, I don't want to have to worry about that control center always annoying you trying to be, you know, pulled up or notification center. You could enable, you know, the tweak for that app and it'll make your life much easier. Green Wi-Fi does exactly what you'd expect. It turns the toggle in the control center for Wi-Fi green. Now, it actually makes sense because normally in iOS, the Bluetooth toggle and the Wi-Fi toggle are both blue. I'm not really sure why that is. It's the exact same shade, exact same color. So this tweak just, you know, turns it green to provide a differentiation. Now, the, now the only issue I've had with this tweak is it didn't work when I had Flip Control Center installed, which I use often. So, of, of course, hopefully that'll be fixed soon, but that's definitely something to keep in mind. But either way, definitely really nice, you know, idea there just to have that green to differentiate them. No Wi-Fi when run this please basically allows you to automatically have your device disable Wi-Fi as soon as you launch a specific application. So it defaults to cellular data. So uh, maybe again, in certain applications, you only want to use cellular data for whatever reason. You could achieve that with this tweak. If you guys jump into settings, you can head over to uh, no Wi-Fi when running this please. 
And uh, of course, just toggle it on. That's the active switch. Then you just go into applications, and then it'll give you a list of all the apps on your device, and you could choose which applications. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the App Store for this example here. Um, obviously, that's not really a practical application because you're downloading things, but just for the demonstration, I'll show you guys here. Of course, you have Wi-Fi enabled, and as soon as we jump inside the app, you can see there, Wi-Fi automatically disconnects. And of course, I'm in airplane mode right now, but if I wasn't, it would just default to my cellular data. And as soon as I exit the app, it's going to reconnect to Wi-Fi, as you see, just like that. So it works absolutely perfectly. We jump back into settings here. You could also enable or disable this tweak, not only with this toggle, but you could also use an activator gesture. So if you want to choose a gesture to disable this and enable it basically from anywhere on your device at any time, you could do that as well. And you could also whitelist Wi-Fi networks as well. So you could go ahead and add certain networks that this tweak will not apply for in here. So uh, that's also a great option. Haptic keyboard will basically just give your device haptic feedback when you go ahead and type on the keyboard. So using the haptic engine inside the iPhone 6s and iPhone 7, when you go ahead and type on the keyboard, it'll just give you that haptic feedback. It's, I definitely just think it's a really nice effect. I really like it. Obviously, I can't show it to you, but that's what it is. Basically, it's the same effect that you get when you go ahead and 3D touch on an icon. And again, it'll just do that when you're basically typing on your keyboard. 3D light will basically just lighten up the 3D touch menus when you go on 3D touch on applications. It's a lighter view. It'll also take effect for the widgets basically in the widgets page and of course also widgets when you go ahead and 3d touch on applications it'll take an effect for those also the control center as well and also notifications inside the notification center and on the lock screen will also be affected by this and also banners as well so uh, as you see here I just got a banner it's that white effect and again also in notification center and the lock screen very simple tweak now the only real downside to this is when you go ahead and 3d touch on an icon normally you're able to just kind of like scroll with your finger and you're still able to do that however you can't actually see the highlighting because it's white but um that's just one small downside with this tweak no music label allows you to hide different components of the music labeling when you're listening to music on the lock screen so you could go ahead and hide certain elements up here so let's just head over to settings and we have no music label and in here you can make small labels you know just to make things look a little bit different and make the, to, the font look a little different but the primary options are up here we have hide title hide artist or hide album so maybe you have a clean setup on your device that you don't need to show certain things you could do that so let's just say you wanted to hide the artist um, and the album, and we just wanted the title. I don't know, but maybe that's just the look you're going for. You could also go ahead and hide the blur as well on the lock screen if you want to do that. And you can hide the controls if you want to do that as well. But we're just going to go ahead and go with hiding these two, and we'll go ahead and respring and click OK. All right, so now you can see the changes that I made did take an effect. So uh, we have uh, just the title there. Now, personally, I like to have everything there, but maybe you just prefer, you know, this type of look. And maybe you have a setup or a theme on your device that looks better with this type of look. So, uh, again, you could achieve that with this tweak. Haptic scroll is available for $1.49, and it will basically give you haptic feedback when you reach the top of a page when you're scrolling or when you hit the bottom of the page. So, um, again, it just gives you that feedback when you do that. Now, you can, of course, you can configure various things. If you head over to haptic scroll in the settings, you can enable or disable the tweak. And then there's top limit, limit vibration and bottom limit vibration. So you can go ahead and enable or disable when you hit the top or bottom. So if you only want it to have an effect on one, you could do that. Also, if you guys have an iPhone 6S or iPhone 7, you could use the real haptic engine using this toggle right here. Normally, it just uses the normal vibration motor, but again, you could use the haptic engine on the devices that support it. So on my 6S here, that's what I'm using, and there's also the haptic mode for that, so you could have it so it feels like a peak with peak and pop or a pop, so it's just slightly different of a vibration there. Now, if you have a real haptic engine disabled, so you know if you just turned it off or you have an older device, you can configure the duration of the vibration, so just how intense it is. You can also disable it from functioning in certain applications down here as well. So uh, definitely a really nice tweak. Obviously, I can't really show you it, but um, it's definitely a nice effect. And once again, it's called Haptic Scroll. It's available for $1.49. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed all these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos talking about Cydia tweaks. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.